and welcome to Atopedia world this is Varun Ganga in this session we are going to learn how to do subtraction by using Vindavangana method or dot method which is in Vedaganita so before going to know how we are going to do subtraction by using this Vindavangana method we have to know some basic terms and the first basic term that I would like to tell you here is about subtraction. So what is subtraction? I think you know what is a subtraction. Subtraction is nothing but the difference between two numbers. So the difference of two numbers is called as subtraction. Now let us see an example of subtraction how we do in our daily life that is in our old fashion traditional way i think you know how to do subtraction in our old fashion way for an example i have taken here a number 423 minus 122 so usually how you going to do this subtraction means first of all i have to set them in some specific rows and columns according to their place values like this here the first number that is 423 is called as minute which means bigger number and 122 this is called as subprehend minute means the number from which the number is going to be subtracted and the subprehend means the number that is going to be subtracted is called as subprehend and now we have to do subtraction now let us see how we are going to do subtraction subtraction gives nothing but the difference of two numbers and let us see what difference you are going to get by subtracting 423 and 122 so 3 minus 2 as usually you will get 1 and 2 minus 2 you will get 0 no doubt in it and 4 minus 1 you will get 3 and the answer what you got here when you have subtracted 423 and 122 is 301 so this is the traditional way or old fashion way of doing subtraction now let us see how we are going to do this subtraction by using Bindavankana method. Now let us take the same example by dot method. Example 423 minus 122. So first of all as usually we have to set them in some specific rows and columns according to their place values like this 423 minus 122. So in our dot method how we are going to do this subtraction means first of all we have to see the digits in the first column that is in ones place see here the digit that is in the subprehend place should be always smaller than the digit in the minuend place check whether it is less than the minuend or not in minuend 423 3 is in units place and in subprehend 122 2 is in units place that is in ones place now when you compare these two numbers here 2 is smaller than 3 so when you get a number like this what you have to do is you just do in your old traditional way that is 3 minus 2 we we'll get 1 are you understood I am going to explain you once more and once again please listen carefully when the digit in the mind went is greater than the digit in subprehend then you have to proceed the same old fashioned way that is our traditional way of subtraction see here now we just move on to the next column that is tens place 
here the digits are same equal if you subtract them you will get zero just subtract them and put the answer in the answers place now again move on to the third column that is hundreds place we just checked the digits that are in minuend and in subprehend in minuend the number is 4 and in subprehend the number is 1 here 4 is greater than 1 so therefore we have to proceed in our old fashion way here the number 4 is greater than 1 so that is why what you have to do here is you have to subtract 4 and 1 what you are going to get is 3 now just write the 3 in the answers place and therefore now here you have got the same answer as you have got in doing in our old fashioned way so we use same traditional method to simplify ben means when the digit in the mind went is greater than the digit in subprehend. So please do remember this in your mind. Thank you.